Hello and what is up everybody? Cliff B here, once again playing some more Minecraft Hardcore. Day 3. You know, where we last left off, I got the walls of the house here that I'm calling a house even though I've realized I've kind of maybe accidentally made a school. It kind of looks like a school building and it's like, well once I put a roof on this thing, how's it going to look after that? I don't know. Alright. Maybe, but at this point here, too late to change the design. But as for the design, I am going to need some uh, good old-fashioned stairs here. So, you know, continue to destroy this place, whatever this used to be. I found this used to be like a house, and then I went and absolutely wrecked it. Also, I got to find like sugar canes, get a sugar cane farm going, so that I can finally get like, um... An enchantment table up and running. Then I need a Liberian villagers, finally. An actual farm to get some bloody farm of XP. I mean, luckily I have the leads from murking that wandering trader and his, um, llamas. So, you know, there's that. So I do have, like, leads, so I can, like, you know, grab things from other location, bring them here to the village, and put them in cages. That's not gonna be a problem. Alright. Now, the thing is, that's not gonna be anywhere near enough, uh wood for what I'm trying to build. Is it going nighttime already? It is. Great. I mean, luckily I don't have to worry about the house. Oh, and it's snowing too. No, not like this. Not like this. Please, no. Ugh. Get inside and go to sleep immediately before snow starts piling up on your floors. Nope, nope. Stop the snow. Stop the snow. I'm in the bed. Stop. 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 Whew. That was close. Okay, so that yielded like nothing in terms of stairs. And a lot of slabs that I don't give a crap about. Great. Just great. Alright. So where the heck am I going to find sugar kings? Now that I think about it. Like this village, you know, is a great source of potatoes. And if I want potatoes, I can get potatoes. But there's no farm animals. There's no sugar kings. All right, um, you know what I'm going to do? Just make sure I have this. I think it's time to go on a bit of a journey. Uh, I don't like this being right next to my place. Oh, boy. All right. Yeah, I think it's time to go on a bit of a journey to find farm animals, sugar kings, and bring them back here. Also, do I have any? No, I definitely don't have any coal to spare. What is up, Cyber Wolf? Oh, he's bringing the meme. He's bringing the meme. Not the meme. Not the meme. Hey, what is up, Cyber Wolf? How are you doing? food good so as for me i need like actual sources of food so i'm going to get some like farm animals bring them back as well as sugar kings so i can actually have an enchantment table because i have the diamonds already like if i look in here you know i got like seven diamonds right there what is up music man i think this is the first time music man's been here actually 
What is up, Music Man? How are you doing? Yes, sir. All right. And I know, like, uh, Cyber, has your internet ever been fixed? Like, has Cox actually got off their lazy asses to do shit? Or is it still, like, a case of, like, basically, F you, buddy, pay your bill? Because I'll take one from a team and watch, like, a slideshow stream for you just so you can have them views. But, holy shit. I'm not gonna lie, there's a little bit of damage that gets taken. What is up? Luca. Luca. Actually, I'm glad you're here, Luca. Did my bot do the thing it was supposed to do and make an announcement in the Discord? Because it'd be. Oh, right. I've been logged out of the app because I changed my password. Whoops. Oh, uh, this is awkward. Um. Uh... When you're going to check your disk and you're like, Oh yeah, I updated my password announcement and was it done? Okay, it did, but it's blocked. I don't know why it's blocked though. Hmm. Might have to figure that one out yet. Okay, good. It's sit. Not yet. I got a reply last night just saying, Hi, I'm insert name here. I'll be helping today and for some... But I didn't get the notification for some reason. Yes, you do have to re-download uh, Minecraft, Luca. And you no longer have an excuse, you finally have a laptop. Anyway, I'm being distracted with chat and I need to actually... Alright, oh, that's why I'm in the house. I need um, charcoal so I can make some torches so I can light up a cave that's a little bit too close for comfort near my house. Labels all the chests, forgets when I put stuff. Yeah, that sucks ass, but like I said, the last time I had Cox, they pretty much have the, we have a monopoly, so we don't give a damn vibe about them. Like, it can be horrible, it can barely work, and they'll gladly overcharge you for garbage. And I know they have a thing where they enter nine competes with like anybody who's local. So if it's like them and a one other, they'll straight up go into a non compete immediately. And so all I can say is I wish you the best of luck. I'm gonna be right back, moving to PC since my Wi Fi is still trash on mobile right now. Ooh. I mean, it could just be like you're using the mobile version of. Twitch, which I'm gonna be honest, kind of sucks ass. A bit garbage, though. Not gonna lie. Especially that delay, because I do believe there's like over a 30 second delay for a mobile. You know, Cox sells three down, one up, right? For like 50 bucks a month. Cox will sell you three down and one up for 50 bucks a month. So they're not gonna give a shit if you're getting three down and one up. Oh, right. Uh, what am I doing? I need to bring my leads with me. So that way... Actually, what am I doing? I need... I actually need an area to put the animals. So I think I'm gonna put them here in this area. Mind my way through... my way to the mountain here. Or, hmm, how am I going to do this for the animals? Because there currently is no back door. To this place. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, one annoying thing is I don't really have a back door. Yeah, let's not do it from back. You get away from my from my house. Okay, don't make me murk you like I've murked so many other villagers. Alright. So let me grab some fences. 
I'm literally paying for the fastest I can, and I wasn't upset that my upload wasn't what they promised. They never are, but for around, for everyone around here to be having the problem for days is asinine. Um, so where I'm at, we have Optimum. Optimum service like two whole entire cities in New York called Bronx and Brooklyn. They're the only one, and I mean only one, who service those areas. The Bronx in Brooklyn has had no home internet for over seven days now. And it took a lawsuit from the city to finally get Optimum to fix the internet. Yeah. 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 So, they get away with it because they paid for most of those project homes in the Bronx and the Brooklyn. And the deal was they'd be the only service provider since they're the one providing the buildings. And so when it goes down, they get sued multiple times by the city, and then they finally do something. That's why, luckily for me, where I'm at, I have choices. I have, like, three different providers that will service this area. And so my internet is type good because they know I can lead their ass in a heartbeat. So I have like a 100 down, 35 up. And it's very consistent even throughout the whole entire pandemic situation. They keep it consistent. All right, what the hell am I looking for? Okay, got the leads. I need fences. That's what I need. Uh, could destroy the village for the fences, but I'm not going to do that. I mean, not destroy. I don't break anything. I have it demolished the village and used it for resources so I can easily make stuff that I can make on my own. Yeah, but that would probably be a waste of money there because most of the time they'll just tell you, well, there's nothing we can really do. You can just go to the competitor. And that's pretty much their attitude. It's like, if a competitor exists, and I think by law, they're able to say they have a competitor in your area, if that competitor is within 25 miles, even if they don't service your area, if there's a competitor within 25 miles of where you live. They could say some bullshit, like, we are being competitive. Look at our competitor 25 miles away from the service area. I need a shovel. Alright, but I'm not gonna go too deep into this because it looks like I've lost some viewers talking about this internet. So, whoops. Insert that bitch from South Park. Alright. Some charcoal, some woods. Um, I forgot to make a shovel. Is it nighttime? It's nighttime. Going to sleep. That snap in the back, cracking the spine, getting that sorted. I mean, if I want to speak about positive things, emotes is a positive things, and like right now, I'm pretty sure I've waited like long enough for the person I asked, like, yo, I'd like to commission some emotes from you, please respond. And it's like, I understand I'm using Fiverr, lots of people are streaming, lots of people are getting affiliate, lots of people are probably asking for emotes, but. <laughs> Hey, everybody got the posse check. Crack the spine and snap the neck. You hate to hear it, but you have to do it. But it's like, you know, I feel like I've waited too long for that person to reply back so I can start getting these emotes on the go. Because if you're not in a disc, what I'm thinking about doing for the emotes is, one, the Dancing Bee from the stream that actually got me an affiliate, or the stream I went affiliate on. There was just like, as soon as I spawned in the world, there was just this bee just absolutely losing it. And it's like, that has to be an emote. Yep, uh, zero reply back. And like, the thing is, it's Fiverr. And while some people show how long the queue is, some don't. So I don't know, like, how many people are already queued for this artist and how many aren't. 
because it's the same artist that did like Alan's emotes. Because I literally asked for a recommendation, that's who he recommended. Uh, recommended. So it's like, well, I guess I'll just go with someone else then. Because it's one of those things that I hate the fact that I can't draw for shit. I really do hate that fact that I can't draw for shit. Because I feel like, you know, something as simple as a emote, I'm almost at someone else's mercy. Or if it's things like my channel banner or my logo. Yeah, I would have been nice to know, like, hey, I received your emails, just so you know, there's like a backup of people. Yeah, exactly, something like that. Oh, right. I put this lava here. Why did I put this lava here? Does anyone remember why I put this lava here? No, because I don't. Let's get rid of this before this is how I died. Like, can you imagine if this is what takes me out of my own hardcore world is a piece of lava that I put down myself? Oh, I wanted to empty a bucket because I needed an empty bucket. That's why I put the lava there, because I had, like, a lava bucket for I don't know what reason. Alright, so this area here is going to be the area for the animals. Just need to flatten it. And then, I wonder what direction I should head, because I know, like, a tundra biome is quite big in size. Like, there are something called biome weight, and that determines how big a biome is once it spawns naturally. And tundras, I know, can be quite big. And I gotta get ready for work again. Well, Blooka, all I can say is I know you're not going to enjoy work. I really hope you get that job that you apply to. Hopefully they get to you soon so you can get rid of the job that you don't like for something that you can like be a bit better. And that's all I can say about that. Apparently that's my first time ever making oak blocks anything. Um, shovel. No, it's a wooden one, but it's better than nothing. And thank you for dropping in anyway, Blutha. Ouch. Snap the spine and crack the back. You know, I think we was talking about this. I forgot in whose stream. Like, Cyber, if you ever got to the point when you got sponsored, would you go for anybody who would give you money, or would you prefer to be sponsored by people whose products you can actually recommend? And if Music Man is still here, I've asked Music Man the same thing, because I know Music Man's a partner now. Or at least I believe Music Man's a partner. Like last time I seen one of his streams, he had like over like a hundred and thirty people there. But like, yeah, same here. I feel like once you get a sponsorship, you kind of become an unofficial salesman, and I hate pushing things on people that are just hot trash. That's one thing that always bothered me about work. So was when uh, the Cuppy's product was just garbage. But it's like you push that product, boy. Hey man, I just bought your Steam back up on my PC in time to hear that. Not partly yet, but very close to applying. I thought you was, because I could have sworn, like, the last time I seen your streams, you had, like, over 100 viewers there. Also, you do stream a bit of <laughs> Litty Days away. Uh, well, I wish you the best of luck on that endeavor there. But, yeah, same question. If you were to get sponsors, and I'm pretty sure someone will definitely sponsor a musician slash switch partner, would it be a case of you'll take anybody, or you'll go for a product that you actually like? 
Yeah. Oh, come on. Now that's a fucking tease right there. That's a tease. Just like, oh, you're almost there. You're almost there. Oh, look, it's right there. It's right there. It's almost there. Like, look, look, look. It's right there. It's like, that's a fucking tease. I'm sorry, man. Uh, that's a tease. I mean, if it was energy drink, hell, I take Powerade. I literally drink it every stream just because that's my favorite sports drink. It's man, you have to go where the money's at. Exactly. Oh, yeah, it definitely is a business, even though people keep saying, Oh, Twitch is just a hobby. You know, there's no real money in that. And then it's like people who pay their fucking rent in Twitch. Or it's like, you know, Stroud just making like... What was it that... I know Stroud made a ridiculous amount of money with his, like, um, first uh, coming back to Twitch stream. Because I know that, like, the guy got, like, over 13k in sub for just one stream in less than, like, an hour. I don't know. I don't fuck with Monster that hard to take it. I mean, if it's just like a pure iron, like, super sweet energy drink. Mm, it's like, last time I drank a Monster, it's like, basically was like teeth glue or some shit. And I couldn't open my jar after drinking it. So it's like, mmm. Alright, specifically just mule. Specifically, just meal. Like me personally, if it came down, <laughs> fuck all the rest. <laughs> so fucking metal, cipher. So fucking metal. Yeah. Like if it came down to it, I don't know. In terms of hardware, like, I probably would either go with if it's Logitech, Razors, Fractal Design, Fantex, AMD, Powerade, if they want to sponsor this shit. And then whoever makes a good chair, because, oh my gosh, I'm getting sick and tired of these damn gaming chairs and wrecking my damn spine. Like, why do gaming chairs suck ass? And you want to get an office chair, but an office chair is causing an arm and a leg. Ginger lime taste for an energy drink? I mean, ginger is one of those things I cannot accept in a drink. I don't know why. Like, I love pickled ginger with my sushi. But I cannot handle, like, any type of ginger flavored drinks. I can't handle it in tea. I can't handle it in, in, like, soda. I just don't know why. Something about ginger just doesn't translate well to drinks for me. Like, am I strange for that? Or is that quite normal? And, like, lots of people have things, like, they can't really stomach in one form, but they will take it in another form. And ginger is just one of them. Like, I cannot stomach ginger in any form of drink, but I will gladly accept it as, like, in the food or in, like, um, well, basically just in this food form. Like, the same thing with strawberry. I can't stand the fruit, but I love strawberry jelly and strawberry flavored things. I don't know why. But if I try to eat a strawberry feed, I feel like I'm going to puke that shit out. And I just don't know why. It's just, like... Yeah, it's like, am I crazy in that? Or is this just some things, like, like, you can take it when it's, like, processed to high hell. But if it's, like, straight up, you just can't take it. Hmm? Um, mangoes is, like, one of those things, like, I would devour a mango sorbet. I would drink mango juice or anything mango flavor. But I can't stomach the actual fruit. Like, I think the only fruits that I can stomach, both their taste and, like, when they're processed to high hell, as well as the actual fruit itself, is probably banana. 
and apples, and that's it. And call me a basic bitch for that, but it's like, those are the only two fruits that I think I could just take straight up, like, in their fruit form as well as process a high health. Oh, and oranges. Oranges. I'll add oranges to that list. As well as cherries, if we're considering cherries or fruits. But it's like, for other stuff, like watermelon, I can only accept it when it's in juice form. Cannot just take that thing straight up. The strawberries are fucking overhyped. They are fucking overhyped. Okay? Like... Trust me right now. A strawberry is overhyped, but strawberry kiwi dough. Now that's a combination there. As well as strawberry bananas. Like, strawberries and smoothies, though. That's... That's legit right there. But raw strawberries themselves, nah. And even when they're chocolate cover, it's like, mmm, maybe. Yeah, get rid of some of that tartness there. Because that was one thing I was surprised. Maybe it's because I always had, like, processed strawberries. But when I tasted, like, an actual real-life strawberry, damn, that thing was tart. Like, I honestly thought it was went bad or something until I realized, no, no, I'm checking the fruit here. It's ripe, it's not discolored, there's no bruises or lumps, it's a ripe fruit, and it's like, oh my gosh, I wasn't ready for how tart that was gonna be. And like, you know, I'm coming from a background of like, the only other fruit I've ever had in a raw form was apples, oranges, and bananas. I mean, technically, I also eat olives in the wrong form, and olives are technically a fruit, you know? People may forget this, but olives are indeed a fruit. Even though they are not sweet by any means, they are a fruit. Uh, I mean, it had a mouth sweetness, but it's like, I don't know. Expectation versus reality, you know? It's like, if you grew up on strawberry syrup, and then you have an actual strawberry, so there's going to be some disappointment in between that translation there. Did a rabbit just jumped off a cliff and killed itself? I could have sworn I heard rabbit death, or maybe that was just rabbit pain. <laughs> oh, gee. <laughs> Was that an ONG for like Star? <laughs> yeah, rap just committed suicide. <laughs> so that rabbit jumped off a cliff and killed itself. <laughs> off of like five blocks. Damn it! It even dropped meat. Like, it had to run away so badly, <laughs> and then it just killed it. Right. New Metal Band Rabbit Death. <laughs> Hello, and we are Rabbit Death! Da -da -da -dun -da -dun -da -dun -dun dun 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 Oh, I can't do that. I'm gonna lose my place. Also, I'm a fucking idiot. Forgot to bring my leads with me. Oh, I was going on that great quest for, like... Well, Rabbit, you be careful. Another one of your kind murked himself. Like, if you need help, there is a number that you can call. Wait, you have no hands. Well, no one can help you. Just be careful with your bunny hopping. Apparently, even though you're a rabbit, you don't, like, you don't have fall resistance. Even though rabbit's foot gives you jump boost, but it does not give you fall resistance. Hmm? Gotta lay off the sugar drinks to do that without losing your voice. Yeah, true. Well, I've never really lost my voice. But then again, I don't really scream that much. Like, there's like, you know, when it comes to like being all screamo, you have to be a person that actually scream a lot so you can get the calluses in your throats. And I know that sounds fucking disgusting. But it's like, you know, screaming does tear at like the fabrics in your throats, the muscle fabrics in your throats. And I don't really scream that much. So I cannot do like, you know, super screamo anything. I don't know why, it's just like, I guess it's just childhood, really. Never grew up in a household where screaming like an idiot was okay. Even though my little siblings do that all the time. I don't know, different generation. Gosh, Donnie, get off my back about that one. But yeah, that rabbit just straight up marked himself. Like, poor rabbit. Like, jeez Louise, what the fuck, man? 
Well, we have one rabbit hide that I can't do shit with because I need four of them to make a... Yeah, there's four rabbit hide to make one leather, right? Or am I drunk? But yeah, no. Good old fashioned rabbit's marking himself. I thought it was three. Well, actually, I can check right now because I know you can just make it uh, leather. And yep, there's four rabbit highs. There we go. And that's the only thing you can do with rabbit highs, which is kind of really pointless when you think about it. Like the, here's the thing, rabbits, I feel like they're kind of useless. It's like, I know that you can use them as a food source, but there's better food sources that aren't like these little tiny things. Like, you know, rabbits are hard to hit. They're annoying to breed. They hop all over the damn place. Their hides are useless unless you get a lot of them to make leather. And then, like, a potion of jumping boost, like, what? Tier 1 only does a block and a half, and Tier 2 does two blocks. And you don't even get, like, fall resistance when you get it. So you can just, like, you know, jump yourself off of a little cliff and kill yourself, even though you have jump boost. You'd think having jump boost would give you fall resistance as well. But, nah. Apparently, that makes too much sense in Mojang's eyes. I mean, the most useful thing will technically be a mushroom. Because one mushroom gives you infinite food if you're okay with having just like a shit ton of, um, bowls in your inventory. Oops. You know? But I don't know. Like, I'm gonna keep that rabbit hide. Just because of the fact that, like, that was a self murking rabbit. Oh, shit, no! Are you fucking with me? Oh, hell no! Nah. Are you fucking with me? And if I mark that bastard, they're gonna attack the village, which is right there! You fuck you with me, mate. Oh, oh no, no. It's like if you kill him in any way, you get bad omen. Ah, uh, shit. All right, what I can do is run away far enough that the chunks unload, disconnect, combat log these fuckers, and then come back. I don't have lava bucket. Ah, uh, fuck. Yeah, I know, I'm kind of in a steering contest right now. They literally have their bows at the ready, like, you ready to die, bitch? It's like, I don't want to fucking die, you fucking pieces of shit. Fuck! I, my village is not ready for a fucking raid. If a Ravager comes, that's death. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Wait, hold up, hold up. Um, hold up. Hold up, I got an idea. I got an idea. I'm gonna combat lock there. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six... Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, please be gone, please be gone, please be gone, please be gone, please be gone. Oh, yeah, fuckers are still there. Just don't worry. My options are not good. Because if I murk their asses, I get bad omen. I get bad... Are you fucking with me? Run away from the village. That's my only choice. I gotta run away from the village. Unload the chunks. Unload the chunks. Unload the chunks. Oh shit, it's turning nighttime. Oh shit, it's turning nighttime and I don't have a bed. Oh fuck. What do I do? I can mark everybody except for Flag Dude. If I mark everybody except for Flag Dude. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. What is this shit? What is this shit? What is this shit? What do I do here? What do I do? Like, I was just building peacefully. And then, like, <laughs> migrate. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. 
Like, I'm not gonna be able to survive a raid, and that shit lasts for 15 minutes, and I don't have a cow, I don't have buckets, I can't, you know, remove it with commands. Ah, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. And there's, that's my front door they're at! Oh, God. Oh, God, there's someone behind me. There's someone behind me. Alright, alright, I need to get into my house. Just get into my house somehow. Oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. I think my bed's right here. My bed's right there. Shit, 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 shit. Pokemon, don't you come in here and tell me to focus. I am focused on the damn situation at hand. And this is the worst case scenarios here. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I don't have a bucket. Wait, do I have a bucket? I have a bucket, but I don't have lava to mark their asses with. I have flint and steel, so I can burn their asses alive. And a shield. Okay, I think I have a strategy here. I think I have a strategy. I'm gonna have to shield up and then burn their asses alive. There we go. There we go. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And I, like, if I take out everybody except for the flag bearer. Sup, you golden fuck? What do you got? What do you got? You're enchanted with some shit. Oh, you're a strafe! Enchanted gold armor strafe. What the hell? With slowness arrows. Huh? But they all go. Did they dissipate? My villagers are still alive. Like, you know, if I go ahead and... I don't have Optifine. You know, I look over there. I still got villagers. Damn. Has the threat level calmed down? Has everything been neutralized? <laughs> um, yeah, I guess the uh, threat's over. The captain fucked off somewhere? They all fucked off somewhere? Alright, alright. Uh, well, I guess I'll... And that's how you handle that situation, with lots of panicking and not knowing what to do. Absolutely masterful strategy. And this guy I can just merc without any issues, right? Or can I not merc that guy? It's only the flag bearer that gives you the thing, right? Or is it this guy as well? Ow, shall I crossbow me? I can mark this guy and no issues. Yeah, but I can also burn him alive, and that's like more satisfying to watch as he screams in pain for all the panic he caused me. Okay. I always forget who gives you the bad omen. I just know if you see them, you're not supposed to mark their asses unless you don't care about the next village you go across. But hey, crisis is averted. And that's all that matters is the end. Damn, you... <laughs> day. I am on world four, okay? I would like to, you know, survive long enough for a roof to be put on my house. Because I have always died before I had a chance to roof the house. Always. So for once, can I get a damn roof on a damn house and actually enchant something? Alright, I got my leads. Um, don't need the shield in front of my face here. Slept the night away so I know it's daytime. Suck these snowballs. Got some spirit wood on me. And the rest have fucked off to I don't know where and I don't care. Alright, so hi, holy silver. Let's go out, out on an adventure. I would love to have like a horse, but I don't have saddles. Hopefully I can find some um, sugar canes. As well as some animals. Find the sugar cane, find the animals. Let's go. Oh shit. Uh, forgot to get cords of the village. Woof. Or I could just get a compass. Yeah, let me go ahead and make a compass real quick. Because, truth be told, I'm really not good with, like, when it comes to, like, you know. 
uh, remembering cords or following cords. It always becomes a pain in the ass. Oh shit, how are my shields for you? No, fuck off. Fuck off. Drown, bitch. Oh wait, undead can't drown anymore. Because Mojang took that away because Mojang doesn't like people having farms. Like, why does Mojang take away people's fun? Because they took away farms, and I know they're going to take away, um... What else are they going to take away? Oh, like, um, piglin farms that works on, like, piglins anger, where you go and you shoot one piglin, and they all get mad, and they kill themselves on cactuses, but they drop their loot, even though they should it. And I know, like, Mojang's about to get rid of that in the next update. It's like, but why you do this? But why? Just let people have their fun, okay? Mojang's like, no! It's a bug, and you're not supposed to be able to do that. We're gonna take that away from you. Na 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 na. Also, they took away this. So apparently, if you had the materials to make a compass, and you looked at, like, a compass recipe, the compass would point towards your bed, and they basically made it so it's a static image. And that was a way of getting around, like, not having a compass. But Mojang was like, nah, we're taking that away. If it's too fun and practical, nerf. Don't worry, I'm going on a grand deal adventure, so I'm just getting rid of the defense pulses that I'm not going to need out in the world. Oh, and I have no food. Ew. My <laughs> nerf. <laughs> You knew I grew up back in the day, so I know where that tech like comes from. Uh, Alright, villagers, do you have any potatoes? Because guess what? I don't have foods. I do. Thank you, thank you. I'm just going to go ahead and take these. What? You spent your hard time and effort making these. Alright, I'll plant like three of them and I'll plant these seeds. There you go. That's all you get. But I do need food. Dang it. I hate when you're about to set out on a grand adventure and then you realize... Oh, shit. Well... That guy's never gonna give me good deals. Luckily, there's no iron golem in this village. Or, unlucky, there is no iron golem in this village. Y'all two better not be talking about me and like, yo, don't touch that guy. Like, listen, it was an accident. You were standing there. I didn't mean to punch you. You better not be, like, spreading negative rumors about me. Because I know you guys be gossiping. Look at this dick here. Raising his prices. Listen, you were standing in the field when I was trying to pick stuff up, okay? Dick. Alright, uh, anything I need there? No. Oh, right. Really should make an easier way to get to the house. Just really should. But I'm really lazy. And I kind of like having this grand deal entrance. Even though it's like, I still don't have a roof. You know what? The way to think of it is I have one hell of a, um... Skylight. Or, what is it called? Uh, are they called skylights? Those windows that face the roof so you can let in, like, natural sunlight? You know, that's hard to think about my housing situation here. I have one hell of a skylight here. I'm not gonna burn down the house, Pokemon. I'm way too far away to burn down the house. Also, I just caught up with chat. Alright, so I got my flitness still, so if we counter any more baddies banning a flag, we can burn them and burn their flag too, because fuck they flags. If you ain't repping my shit, I ain't repping yours. With my shit being Powerade. Anyway. So I have the flitness still to burn their asses. I have torch making materials if I have to make torches. Wood if I gotta make an emergency banner. I mean an emergency um, crafting bench. I got leads to lead two of animals back. Yay. How oh, have I not seen one of your streams? Well, you just gotta pop in sometimes. 
Like, I am followed on your channel. So it's just like you stream the moment I wake up, and I wake up in like the afternoon because I'm one of those people who don't wake up before noon. So it's like I wake up and I see that notification. It's like, I already know I'm too late. It's like my whole entire thing about the reason why I wake up at noon is because every job I ever had, I either worked the night shift or I worked the overnight shift. So I've never been a day person. So, yeah, there's that. Like, I haven't been a day person since I used to go to, like, high school and college. That's the only time you're a day person, when you have to go to, like, high school and college. After that, your schedule gets wrecked, and you become, like, this nocturnal creature or a fucking vampire. Well, you know, coming from you, Music Man, that actually does mean a lot for me. And thank you so kindly. Like, I honestly don't know how well I'm doing here. Because I try not to look at the viewer accounts as well as the subscriber accounts, because that she is don't matter. What matters is those who actually shows up. But yeah. Alright. Sun's gonna go down. I'm gonna stop being fucking lazy. I'm actually gonna go out into the world and finally get some damn animals, bring them back. And, you know, start a proper farm. And the thing I'm going to do is I'm going to dig a basement so we can have a farm for things I can't legally grow on the surface. And, you know, we'll have that farm underneath the house and we'll have another farm for things I legally can grow on the surface. And it'll all work out. Alright, let's go. Full speed. Full speed. Need to get sugar canes. I mean, one of the great things I just remember... For some reason, salmon like to spawn in these waters here, so I can just, you know, go underneath the ice and just beat the salmon to death with, like, whatever random tool I have, or just my fish. It's an extreme form of fishing, you know? Like, you know how in catfishing, you dig your hand into the mud, and a fish bites your arm, and that's how you catch a catfish if you're, like, some type of extreme form of a hillbilly? That's how you do it? You know, in Minecraft, you just dive under the water, you punch a fish that's, like, over... Like, almost one cubic meter. Like, would literally be a world record breaking. And then, you know, you get, like, a fish that somehow fits into your back pocket and you cook it. It's like, this, uh... I think... Terrain was just having a moment here and something fucked up tremendously. Or... There's, like, a ghost hair that's just basically using the force on, like, you know, thin blades of snow. Like, can I stand in this now? Like, imagine it was nighttime, and you're, like, running from a zombie, and you see this is, like, safe ground, and there's ice, and you fall, and you took that damage, and you snapped your knees open. Like, you can't sue anybody. Oh, fuck, polar bears. Yo, listen, we cool, right? There's no kids around, so don't attack me, damn polar bears. I didn't come out here to be mauled on by ya, okay? Alright. So, we have further proof of this world being um, affected by global warming by the ice cap melting. Great. Um, I don't choose sugar cane that way. I see a thriving ocean, but I'm gonna head this way and hopefully I find sugar canes. Oh, wait, sugar cane's right there. Okay, never mind what I was about to do. I was about to, you know, mountain go across this, like, entire, um, thing over here. Oh, wait, I still have to go that way in hopes that I find animals. Because I think the only thing that spawns in the tundras are the rabbits and the polar bears, and... Well, I ain't got no carrots. And I haven't kind of been slaughtering things, because I don't want to die in day three. Be nice if I make it past day five, you know? One world. One world to make it past day five. Alright. Oh, okay. This is where I saw that abandoned portal. Um, should I get the coal? Yeah, let me get the coal. It'll be a source of XP, and there's nothing wrong with having coal. Nothing wrong with that. Alright. But now then, some form of an animal. That isn't a bloody rabbit. Truth be told, I'm not dealing with that. I don't got no carrots the rabbits. Although, do rabbits only take carrots or can they now take beets or no? They only take the carrots. They won't take beets. 
because they're picky and they won't accept Minecraft beats because Minecraft beats aren't by Dr. Dre. Which, is Dr. Dre even a real doctor? Because I feel like, you know, you shouldn't be allowed to call yourself a doctor without being an actual doctor. And if you're a doctor whose whole entire thing is throwing out sick beats, isn't that kind of defeating the purpose? You want people to get healthy, not sick. So if you're throwing out the sick beats, like, aren't you being decremental, not to mention a hypocrite? Or do we just not talk about the Dr. Dre situation and leave it be? Sup. Alright. Okay, enough distracted by coal. Don't need no black lawn while the Ronas go around. I don't think black lawn and Rona mix very well. I think those two might be a death. Uh, crap. Well, I'm in a tundra biome surrounded by islands, and I don't see any animals great. Ouch. He tripped. Knees broken. Keep forgetting that there are such things as logs, I mean woods. Alright, make a boat. Put that there, put a torch here. So that way from coming back at night I'll be able to see that light and go like, Oh, my village is right there. Okay, there's a forest over there, but I kind of don't want to mess with it. There's fishes in the water. Oh right, kale! I forgot about this stuff. I mean, not kale. Or is this, uh, what is it? Seaweed. Kelp. 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 Yes, kelp. Yes. I forgot about kelp. It's technically a source of food. The only thing about it is, like... I mean, technically, it is a source of food. I just have to put it in water. Yeah, I know. I can also use it as fuel. It's fuel and it's food at the same time. But the only requirement is that you put it in water, and it grows over time. Oh, sweet. Uh, we found actual... Yeah, but the thing is, it won't give me XP. I mean, it's a good source of food, but I want something that will give me XP as well. And let me get some seeds here. While I'm at it, a couple of seeds. Come on, Minecraft seeds. The one time you ask for seeds and you never get it. Damn, 2020. There we go, seeds. Seeds, 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 seeds. There we go. Alright, so I got seeds. I got the kelp. I got the sugar canes. I mean, I would love to have a cow to move faster. Oh, shit. Do I go for the sheep first? <laughs> Suck, nobody. <laughs> that clip there. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Also, there's birch here. Oh, wait, that's a forest. So, I mean, yeah, that, um, there's a village over here. Alright, I think I'll bring these sheep back first. But I'm gonna go ahead and um, help myself to this village over here. Which, by the way, what is with villagers spawning near a ravine? Like, I feel like every time you find a village, you're always gonna find a ravine. Like, you know, the two and two is always, like, somehow next to each other. Always. Oh my gosh, Lordy! Food! Yes. I know it's faster to mine this with a hoe. Damn it. But look at me. Look at me. Do you think I have any holes? I ain't got no damn holes, damn it. If I had holes, I'd have some damn viewers already. Alright. Oh, that's cute. Little pony. Glad they finally added... You know, how many years has Minecraft existed with animals and breeding, yet you never found, like, baby animals just naturally in the wild? And it was like, oh, yeah, it should be a case of, like, animals know how to fuck without the human giving them food to fuck, you know? It's like basic survival instance. Damn it, Mojang. 
But anyway, I got wheat. So luckily that's a great source of food. I mean, these are only season... Oh, it's burning! Oh! Well, no one said build your house next to a lava lake. And then Pokemon just come in telling me to focus. Listen, of course I've been focused. You see, this is unfortunate here. I feel like this is an insurance scam right here. Yeah, I'm not buying this for a second. You saw that lava there. You knew exactly what you was getting into. Oh, shit, that chest. Um, oh, apple. I'll take those apples in a heartbeat. Just don't mind me, okay? I, you know, I know the building around me is like set it, it's like burning and shit. I'm just like over here robbing them while they're just going like, my house! But this is an insurance scam right here. They built right next to lava. They knew what they was getting into. Alright, so I ain't got no damn pity for them. Also, this is quite a big village. They paid you in apples. Eh. Yeah. Nah. The apples were nice and all, but you see, here's the thing. I'm not a big fan of apple. I find their practices to be bullcrap. So, you know, paying me in apple products is like, nah, ain't no hypocrite. Villagers have small buttings. Nah, you see, that's some level 1000 plays right there, right? You see the, uh, the flow of lava right there. You built your house right next to it. Your house burned down. Do you claim insurance, okay? Because you know they got lava insurance, all right? It's Minecraft. If you don't have lava insurance, what the hell are you doing? Wait, what the hell is that? Oh, it's a cat. All right, this is a village. Oh, boy. Oh, shit. If I sleep here, my compass will no longer point back to my home base. That's the only time I'm hooking on insurance would be useful. Yeah... Hmm. Kill the iron golem. I ain't fucking with no golem. That golem would fuck me up with fire. Oh, that's true. I could just burn his ass. Yo, listen. I know I'm resetting my spawn point here, but I think I have a pretty good idea about where my village is at. Oh, look at this. I got like a nice little fountain and stuff. You know what? Just give the villagers like some PTSD by ringing a bell. And now they're all in a state of panic, not knowing what the hell just happened because the bell that's been foretold in prophecies has just been run. And now they're thinking they're being raided. And meanwhile, these two just don't give a fuck. Also, I found it strange that villagers... Oh, sweet. I need those carpets. Sup? You don't mind me taking this shit, right? Nah, you don't mind. Oh, wait. Ooh, damn. You see, I don't have any emeralds, bruh. Otherwise, I would take that. But, you know, it's fine. It's cool. But don't mind me, okay? Just don't mind me, alright? Y'all stay in your house. Y'all talk about whatever y'all talking about. You know, just don't worry about what I'm doing. Oh, bookshelf. Sweet, free books! Oh, right, that house that was burning down was probably a librarian house as well. So that would have had bookshelves as well. Ooh, damn. Ah, damn, those books. Oh, damn. It's like the 1200th century all over again. Ooh, a lectern. I need this shit so I can actually have a, le um, a librarian villagers. Thanks, guys. Y'all really generous with these donations here. Even though you really can't say no, y'all are being super generous. Ooh, a grindstone? I need this shit here so I can have, like, my own weaponsmith back in my village. Ooh, look at this iron here. Oh, sweet. A new iron sword. I don't need it, but I'll take it. Ooh, some boots. Ooh, a saddle. I can get a horse and ride back to my house. Nice! <laughs> Farron 451 Minecraft Edition. <laughs> what? Nah, get out of here with that. Mending books in the future. Let's go. Cooking the books. Uh, let's not cook the books, shall we? All right. So, what's up? I think I already, read, I mean, visited that house. Yeah, totally meant visiting. Didn't say anything else. And you guys, like... You know what? I'll do something nice for you. I'll get rid of this tree that's basically had you trapped into your house for all eternity. Except, oh, yeah, this is wood. So that tree is going to stay. You know what? I tried to do something nice for you. And that's what matters in the end. I tried to do something nice for you. Yeah, look, why would I burn the golem? It's like at the end of the day, right? The golem is just doing his job, he's protecting the village, and burning him does what? Leaves this village defenseless. 
Yeah, but, like, I don't need to burn the golem. I already got free iron. Now, would it would be nice if, if villagers can spawn with an anvil? That would be real nice right there. Huh? Oh, I got an egg. Oh, yeah, I can pick up the eggs in order to get chickens, so I don't have to, like, lead chicken back, and I have, like, chickens. Forgot about that. Any more houses that I miss? No, I think I pretty much visit the entire village. So we good there. We good, we good, we good, G. And now what I think I'm going to do is um, tame one of these horses here. You think it's fast? Like, is this a fast horse? You know what? It doesn't matter. Horse, come with me. No. You accept your face. No, stop it. Stop it. You, you Stop this. Stop this right now. There we go. Enough of your nonsense. You come with me. All right. So we acquired a horse, and I think I'm going to lead back like, um... I'm gonna lead back the sheeps, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna first run around these chickens a little bit more, see if I can pick up a few more eggs. Because as long as one of these chickens, I mean, as long as one of these eggs gives me a chicken, then I can get more chickens. But I'm gonna lead you back. And wait, do I need them now? Eh, you know what? It's good to have a source of carpets. So you and you come with me. Um, hopefully this doesn't break the lead. Oh crap, I think they broke the lead instantly. Yeah, that definitely broke my lead instantly. Can I not lay them back while I'm on the back of a horse? Come on, come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Do the ten test go. Are you still falling? Yes, you're still falling. Good. Dun, dun, dun. And okay. I picked something up. Alright guys, it's been fun visiting you guys. I really thank y'all for the eggs and the sheeps and the um, grindstone that I needed but I could have easily made but didn't want it to make because I'm lazy. And the horse, hold weed in your hand so they follow. Oh, I know I can do that. Or I could just, you know, oh shit, my leads broke. Alright, fine, fine, fine. I'll hold wheat in my hands because the lead method is not working. Oh, right. Can't craft all on a horse. Dang it, horse. Alright. Where'd the other lead go? Because they lost the lead and I marked that villager and his um, llamas fair and square. Okay. Oh, right. Empty hand the horse. There we go. Guys, I got lead. I got I got the stuff. I got the good stuff. Do you see the good stuff in my hand? Yeah, yeah, I see the good stuff in my hand. Wait, why aren't you following? Why aren't you following? Do you not see the good good in my hand? Damn it. Oh, no, I got the leads. Do you not see the good goods in my hands? Okay, guys, that's it. Look at this. Look at this. I got the good goods in my hands. Good goods. Good goods. People got good goods. They aren't following. You know what? <sighs> Screw the stupid horse. Okay. Oh, crap. No, I want my saddle back. You suck, horse. Okay? You suck. I'll just forcefully, you know, force you guys to come with me. Alright, let's go. And I don't think I can run with a lead. Oh, no, I can run. Good. Alright. So now, does anybody remember where I came from? Yeah, as long as I hear that sound of, like, the sheep's bang behind me, I know I'm leading them. My lead's broke. Oh, this is going to be so annoying. This is going to be so annoying. What do you mean, America? Huh? Okay, there's the water I took. But apparently I didn't need to take it because apparently there was, like, a land path that I didn't see. Where's my boat? Oh, my gosh. Can they not make leads break? That'd be nice. Also, did I lose a wheat here? I didn't accidentally... Oh, I must have fed the horse by accident with the bloody thing. Alright, come on. Come on. Come on, you horse... Uh, sheeps. They almost called horses. Hey, look, a dolphin. Um, yeah, I head that way. I know I came from that way. 
Where's my boat, though? Does anybody remember where I parked the boat? I will take the sugar cane, though. Nothing wrong with that. Well, I completely forgot the location of the boat. Great. I mean, there's dolphins, so that's great. Oh, well, just make a new one. At least I got some free books out of it. Actually, ah, oh, fuck. Absolutely fook. Yeah, I should be leading back cows instead so I can get leather. Actually, fook. Damn it. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I need leather. Carpet would be nice, but I need leather. Alright, you sheeps. I know I've, like, incredibly dislocated you from your homes, but you're useless to me. I need leather. Now, I could... No, the horses are annoying. Unless I take a horse and ride it across the mountain, and then take another horse, and then breed horses, and that's where I get my source of leather from. But horses don't drop meat, unfortunately. Even though I know... I know you're edible in real life. Yeah, don't look at me like that. But no, I need cows. I need cows so I can have a source of leather. And it's gonna be nighttime and I'm leading these things back. Great, great, great. Oh my gosh, where's a cow? I could have sworn there was cows over here. You're not a cow, even though you're disguised like one, you fake cow. Dang it. There's a the cow. Why is there only sheeps and horses, damn it? Did I find Scotland? Okay, there's one cow. I need another cow. Cow, where's your mate? What do you mean you're forever alone? Cow, this is not the time to be forever alone. Like, listen, if we can find you a mate, I can guarantee you a lifetime of endless mating and inbreeding. I mean, I'm not sure about that last one, but at least it'll be endless mating. So where's your mate, man? What do you mean you don't know, man? Dang it. Uh, hold on. Actually, no, you're great. Alright, that's one. Two. Three. Alright. So now I acquired that. It's turning nighttime. Great. Oh, my inventory is filled with garbage. Great. How did I manage this? How did I manage this? You know what? Throw away this. For now. Ah, she is. Ah, oh, she is. It's turning nighttime. This is what I didn't want. Put this down for now. Um. All of this into logs like that. I don't care. Like that. There we go. And just sleep in the middle of a wide open field. You know, that's absolutely fine. That's absolutely fine. I'm just gonna toss this. I don't need it. But I need to find your mate, man. Listen, okay? You're gonna love it, alright? Once I find, like, another one of your kind... Oh, crap, there's creepers. You know what? Um, before this turns into, like, a view leading the cow situation, and we have another obscure situation here, let me go ahead and deal with the threat. Alright. You. You. You're a danger. You are definitely a danger. Control explosion? Control explosion. Alright, now that that's done... Like, Cal, we need to find you a mate, okay? And don't worry, I've had... <laughs> the fuck, nobody. And you put a pot in there. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it all the hell. Alright, come with me. Come with me if you want to mate, alright? Good. Because you don't have a choice. But you need... To find you an actual mate. Mm. 
Yeah, because there's the snow right there, which means I probably... And I've seen those pillars before, so I know where I'm at. I just need another cow. My gosh, darn it. Like, how do I make cows breed asexually so I don't need to grab another cow? Is there a way? Oh, there it is. Okay, good. I found your cow, friend. So I don't need to bend you in half and have you impregnate yourself. Good. Oh, sweet. Multiples. I mean, I only really need two. You know, there's no point of gene diversity here. Alright, come on. Oh, damn it. There was another cow right there that I didn't see. Stupid stealth cow. Oh, well. You cows, don't worry about that, alright? Yeah, just gonna come with me. You're gonna have the time to life for the rest of your life. Until I probably murk you because I can't tell you apart from one cow or another. Because strictly told, you know that's gonna happen. But it's fine, you guys don't know that. Like, look at ya. Okay, yeah, I don't know that, and y'all don't need to know that. Did I find another snow village, or is that an igloo? Is that an igloo, or did I find an actual snowy village? Hold up, hold up. This might get dangerous. This might get dangerous. I need y'all to stay there. Alright, let's go. I think this is just straight up just an igloo. Oh, it is. I found an igloo, people. So if you don't know, this is like the snowy version of finding like a desert temple or an, um... Oh, uh, well, I'll take this carpet. So, yeah, this is an igloo. They don't spot any treasure. It's just something you can find out in the world, and it's supposed to give you, like, shelter. I don't really need three types of carpets. I'll just take the white carpet and call it a day. I don't need the one arrow. I'll make a Fletcher villager for that. Alright. Well, that's fun. Anyway, cows. Good. Yeah, they didn't move. You're smart cows. You're loyal. So I respect that. Now you're going to be breeding for the rest of your lives. I also respect that. And you should too, you know? So as I drag you miles away from where you was born and raised, what are you cows like, you know? You do anything interesting? You had any funds? So, you know, I'm just trying to break the ice because this is probably the first time you met one another. And, you know, given what's going to happen to you guys once I get back to my base, it's important that you have an established um, relationship. What is up, Aisha? Glad to know you finished the zoo. So, what animals are in the zoo? Like, which was the last one you added? Was it the dolphin? Did you do the ocelots? Meanwhile, I'm just holding back these cows here and about to show them the time of their lives, which would be the. Uh, in eternity, well, until I accidentally murk them because I don't... Oh, llamas. Yeah, okay, I guess that makes sense. Llamas are exotic. You know, the funny thing is, when rabbits were at it, the killer bunny was supposed to be like a super rare spawn that you would find in like a snow biome, which is why the killer bunny is always a snow bunny. You, you, climb up, okay? Do you understand the power of jumping? Like, I know you're a cow, and a cow wouldn't really jump because, mm. let's be honest, you have some lot asses. Like, y'all can weigh like a damn ton by your lonesome. But, you know, jump. But, yeah, you know, I'm just leading these two cows back. Taking them to the village. About to show them a great time. I mean, if you want VIP, you can redeem it with channel points. If you look at my channel points, it's 50k to be VIP for a month. Just saying. Besides, are you really worried about that? You know, you do have a subscription right now. Like, you should be thanking nobody for that, who dropped a gift bomb, and you was in that gift bomb, and you got your gift sub. Uh, I'm pretty sure the village is this way. How did I take damage? Well, you gotta work for it. Wait, I can't see... Hmm? You can't see what? Or you can't see what? See who gifted you your sub? I know in subscriptions, like, it will tell you, like, who you got a gift sub from. As well as Twitch no um, notifications. 
Oh my gosh, you cows. And I think nobody's in chat, or he might have left. I'm not sure. Nobody being mysterious. Alright, I'm pretty sure I'm getting close to the village. I remember that. Can't tell if nobody's a joke. You son of a shit. Mike, stay with me, okay, cows? I remember that lava, or no, it might not be my lava pool. Yeah, so I am, like, I'm gonna need to speak to somebody new to finally get the emotes, because I know what I, my emotes, what I want for my emotes, is now, you know, commissioning an artist for those emotes. The only thing is, like, everybody I see on Fiverr is, like, backed up. Don't you dare tell me there was closer cows right there. There was closer cows right there. There was, there was, there was, there was, there was closer cows right there. There was closer cows right there. I went on a journey to find these cows and there was closer cows right. This is fine. This is fine. All right, this is fine. Um, this is 1.16.2. No Optifine for 1.16.2, so I have to use FOV to zoom in. Yourself. I am way too ugly to be an emote. Okay, I don't have that photographic face you make emotes of. Alright, anyway, I'm almost back to the village. I know it. it's been a long and grueling journey. You cows better not break your lead. You better not die. You better find, like, your inner goat. Okay? Because I think the village is somewhere around here or I'm lost. Hopefully the village is somewhere around here. And I'm not just lost, okay? I mean, that's a village right there. Actually, I think this is the village. I think I found it my way back, people. Hold on. Guys. If I see fences, I see fences! I did it! It's been a long journey. I've searched far and wide. I've crossed oceans. I come back with gifts from another land. Don't you cows kill yourself on fall damage? I will straight up just delete this world out of rage if you die on fall damage. But after a long journey, I've brought you guys back just before it has a chance to turn nighttime. So, yes. Oh my gosh. I mean, they will be something for the Powerade. Not quite what you have in mind, but I will have something for the Powerade. Come on. Come on, you cows. Just come on. Just... It's right here. It's right here. You see the sweet, right? You see the effing wheat. Come on! Just jump on that block! It's right in front of your face! Stupid fucks. How long have you been stupid? Just, it's right there. It's right in front of your face. Just jump on the damn blocks. That's it. That's it. Come on. Come on. Stop doing this. Stop doing this. Okay, you. Get in here. Get in here. Oh my gosh, yes. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Yes and yes. Oh. You know what? Fuck. Alright, you deserve a good fuck after that. Alright. Cows have been acquired. That's all I need it. I can go ahead and take a power nap. Hmm? What's with the R? Ah? And come on. What do you mean I can only sleep at night? I'm sorry, Minecraft. Do you see the sky right now? This is nighttime. Got started. Oh my gosh! There we go. Now uh, that's done. Oh crap! Snap the spine up, pain. Ouch. The pain is real. The pain is real. Alright, so now that that's done. Wait a second. Hold up. If I close this on myself. Oh, I don't need the shield anymore. Like, we've made it back safely. Dang it. No. Hmm. So, how am I gonna do this? 
I know what I can do. Get rid of there. Put it like this. Uh, shift click. Put it like this. Boom. Right? So now I can do this. Aha! I can crawl underneath here. And that's how I'll get into like the basement for things I can't legally grow on the surface. Alright. But thanks to that, food is no longer an issue. Okay? I have plenty of food materials. Alright. So let's go ahead and make this official here. Just like, you know, do that. Combine these. There we go. Get these chests here. Oh, damn it. Right? You have to do it like that. There we go. A bloody foos chest. Put this in here. Uh, shit. What the hell would I consider the saddle? Uh, I can put that in like a transportation chest. And now I can make librarian villagers. I have books. So I can make bookshelves. Oh, I know what to do. One, two. And then stones. One, two, three, four. It's been a long time coming, but after many, many hours, I finally crafted a fucking enchantment table. Let's go! Alright, I now have the enchantment table. And let me just turn all this wheat into... Let me turn the majority of this wheat into bread, shall I? Let me spell bread correctly, shall I? Let's not do that much. Uh, up to that amount. 16 sounds good. Yeah, 16 is fine. And you know, a little bit more is never hurt. A little bit more never hurt. Yeah, half a stack. Half a stack of bread is just fine. Alright. So, bread requires. Oh, I can put away the coal. That can go in there, that can go in there. That's required. And I kind of like that look, so I'm going to go ahead and fix this one and fix this one. And do this and this and fuck. Now I do need to go into the nether and get like nether wart, but my nether location is garbage. It's a fucking basalt delta. So I'm going to have to move that portal like super far away. Then hop into it. And hopefully get something that's not a basalt delta. Because basalt delta is just death. And I would like to, you know, not die. That would be nice. Alright, so I think now that I have the enchantment table. As well as some books left over. So let me go ahead and actually make some bookshelves, shall I? Alright. Well, three is somewhere to start, I guess. But, yeah. So the nether portal is going to have to be moved. But anyway, now that I have this stuff here... Alright, I can put away things I don't need right now. So I can put that in there. Put that in there. You know, I'll keep the shield on me, because you never know when a shield's going to come in handy. As for the clock, I know what to do with that. Um, do I have any leather? I do. Yes. And do I have any sticks? I do. Good, 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 good. Item, frames, do it like that, and boom. So put that there. There we go. Right, item frame set up. And I'm more than likely gonna carpet the inside of the house here so I don't need like torches everywhere. Because there's the thing, nothing will spawn if like the block is not equal to a block's height. 
meaning the y value of a block is not equal to a whole number, nothing can spawn in that block. So one of the things you can do to stop things from spawning in your household, or spawning wherever you don't want them to spawn, is just put carpet down everywhere, and that will stop the spawning. Alright, you guys. There you go. While you do that, hopefully... Alright, I got eight eggs here. Alright, what's my chances for a chicken here? Guys, what's the chances of a chicken with eight eggs? First one, nothing. Second one, nothing. 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 Fuck! Well, I'm not playing the lottery with those numbers. Okay. That's, um, don't play the lottery numbers there. Eight eggs and not a single chicken. Damn it. Eight damn eggs and not a single chicken. <laughs> um. <laughs> Thanks, eight ball. Thanks for the words of encouragement, eight balls. You truly are a great eight ball. You mean get foop new. You focus on your own stream of. Oh, fuck. If a fuse here. Wait, nah, it's fine. Also, if you, in case you ever noticed, you now have a sub badge or a gifted sub badge as well. Alright. Well, now that that's done. Alright, so I can put the rest of these wheats in there. I can put the kelp in there until I'm ready to grow the kelps. The potatoes can go in there. I think the chances are 1 in 15. Damn. So I was just straight up unlucky. Uh, where's my wood chest? There we go. Chest in there. And second floor, I'm just gonna make out of slabs just to save on some wood here. And I'll put the bookshelf in here because technically it's like wood stuff. I don't really need a wooden shovel on me, so where's the tools chest? You know what, the grindstone is a tool if you think about it, so it's like the enchantment table, that... Armor is also a tool if you think about it, you know? So that can go there. I don't really need these books right now. How goes the good fight? Eh, not much, just getting untriggered from that last run still. Well, okay, wait, are you done streaming? Because I am lurking on your stream right now, but it hasn't dragged me over to any new person. Which sometimes Twitch does when you're lurking. Alright, but anyway, um... Yeah, so let's make, uh, let me make a second floor to this place. He raided Bernie. Oh, okay. Uh, guys, you're gonna briefly see him... Uh, black screen. I'm just gonna go ahead and, well, since if you done streaming, no point in, like, continue to lurk on the stream here and get some CPU, uh, cyclist backs for my own stream here. And don't worry, I'm supporting the good old-fashioned burns as well. I'm lurking on Bernie right now. I always lurk while I stream. Alright. You know, if I, luckily I got the horsepower on the internet to do that. Alright. Oh, no, I was asking, was your stream done? Because it was like, I had a tab open to lurk on your stream and all, but it didn't, like, switch me over to someone else, like it normally does when you, like, um, raid somebody. But luckily, Cyberwolf told me you're, like, um, raiding Bernie, so I just closed the tab to get back some CPU cycles, that's all. Like an hour ago. Yeah, well, damn. So, what happened? Did you finally beat the Ender Dragon, or it was a case of, like, once again, you got absolutely wrecked face? You know, not to be harsh. Not trying to be a dick about it. I'm just saying, you know, facts are facts, though. And should I do cobblestone stairs or should I do? Oh, I see. Well, yeah, that is what happens when you're trying to focus on so the portal didn't have any eyes and was sure. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Can I get some F's and chats for that one? Also, can I get a shout out for view above as well as Cyberwolf? Now I'm just remembering this. Sorry, guys. 
Can we get a shout out here? Any mods and chats? Mods and chats? Yeah, that's an F right there. Alright, I think I'm gonna use stone bricks instead. Hmm? There's no SRs here. That's song request. Ooh. Hashtag unmod nobody 2020. For that one there. Ah, that was a fail there. That was a fail. I ain't letting you live that one down. <laughs> made music before. Yeah, but even then, like, I don't do song requests here. I'm trying to not get myself flagged by any DMCAs. Also, I do, like, upload the VODs to YouTube. And, like, if you get copyright claimed enough, YouTube does a shadow ban of your account where you won't be showing up with... Oh, Aisha, thanks for the host. I didn't even notice that. Sorry about that. But, yeah, if you get, like, um, copyright claimed enough, YouTube does a shadow ban of your account where the algorithm won't recommend your content. And it will even keep it from your subscribers unless they have the bell. So I'm trying to avoid, like, copyright claims. Just in case. Because, you know, you always hear stories about that person. Who just, you know, that one video finally took them off. And then, like, that's it. It's like, oh, I was getting consistently low viewer counts. I was about to give up, but then I posted one more video, and then all of a sudden my life just changed. You know, some BS miracle story like that. So I think what I'm going to do is, like, stone bricks with, like, cutouts. Um, and, you know what, this place is big as fuck, so I'm going to use, like, how many pillars back should I go? Like, three pillars? So starting from here, right? Oh boy, I'm gonna have to chop down more spruce for this. But if I start from here, one, two, oh god, short person problems. Also, I need stone brick to do with this. That strikes not claims. Claims doesn't affect you much, but the owner has control of the monetizations. Uh, that's what people think they do. Like, strikes can take you down, but claims is doing shit with the algorithm in the background. Because at this point here, you know, didn't, like, even um, Google admit, like, that YouTube's AI is a bit rogue and they don't fully understand it anymore? Well, either way, I still want to avoid it, you know. It's bad enough that, like, YouTube's, like, own AI is, like, basically out of control, and the owners has admitted multiple times that they don't fully understand what the AI is doing anymore. Ain't that the sad damn truth of it all? It's like, they didn't have to met the AI to deal with, like, all the lawsuits they was getting. But now it's like, oh, we don't even know what the AI does anymore. It's pretty much rolling. It does whatever it likes. And, you know, we think it's doing this and that and the third. But we really don't have actual factual data. So you're kind of on your own. Which is like, how the fuck do you let your own creation decide how your own platform works? Like, I get it. Like, you know, YouTube loses Google money. I get that. They don't make money off of YouTube. But at the same time, don't let your shit run wild just because you don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? If they're shadow banning for claims, I wouldn't be getting so many new people in my streams from YouTube. Um, I think... Live streaming on YouTube is different from the videos on YouTube. And I do believe they call that out. Like, it's not completely the same system. Because live streaming is handling a shit ton of differently. Oh, I also have a ton of claims. Like, back when I used to stream, um... Horizon. Like, Forza Horizon 4. The first video I ever posted, even though I was using the streamer mode, that makes it so you use the, um... Music mode that's not supposed to get you in trouble. Yeah, I got 25 emails from YouTube that day claiming that video every three minutes.
and so then after that it was a silent stream i just don't fuck around with it because i'm pretty sh like here's the thing it's like music copyrights has just basically gotten a hell of out of hand and you know that's the sad thing about it and i know that there are free playlists um playlists i know music man himself has dropped a playlist that he offers up to streamers or that he allows streamers to use so they can have some copyrighted free music and Oh, there's definitely claim trolls. I've had that as well. Like some of my old videos back when I used to be able to demonetize stuff. Um, back when I used to be able to monetize for a claim troll, I had people just claiming shit the other day. It's like, you know, I'm gonna fucking delete this. This video only has like, what, five fucking views and you're gonna come out of nowhere and like give me a fucking claim? Fuck that shit. Yeah, even though YouTube has claimed, like, oh, we are actually actively monitoring this. It's like, no, your system is so easily abusable because you're afraid of a lawsuit. And I get it. I get it. Like, YouTube has spent well over, I think, I think it's either six or eight years dealing with, like, paying off lawsuits after the purchase of YouTube back in 2006. Because if you don't know about the YouTube lawsuits, you can look this up here. But basically, after Google purchased YouTube, they was being constantly sued for every year after ownership for the first three years of owning it to the point where they owe about like 12 billion something in like lawsuit money. Huh? I had a guy once copyright claim my fucking voice in a video with me just giving a schedule update so there was like no music, just me talking. That's my voice, you hear me? He's using my voice. Yeah, I know. That's because to copyright claim something, you don't have to prove shit to YouTube. You submit a copyright claim, and that's it. And there was literally businesses that would do that for you, like some, basically some scumbag shit. Where they'll look for videos from creators that release tons of videos. And get adequate amount of views. And basically, they'll just go and, like, um, copyright strike them. I mean, not copyright strike them. They will claim them. Because they know it took, like, a shit ton of effort for people to unclaim their videos. And so what they would do is, like, basically, these were, like, companies that would just set up to, like, claim old videos. So something that you posted, like, a couple of months ago is that you wouldn't necessarily care about. So that way, they can make, like, money off of whatever, like, remaining... Actually, no, you do. They changed that last year. Uh, yeah, I know. Like, YouTube finally said, Oh, we're gonna do shit about that because surprise, surprise, when you make it so fucking easy, people abuse the hell out of that thing. It's like, who would've thought, you know? Who would've thought? Who would've thought that? Are you kidding me? Am I really out of cobble? You hate to see it. You just do. Great. I got a mine cobble. But yeah, like. It's kind of their fault for just being, like, so bloody scared of, like, a lawsuit all the time. So, like, I get it. You know, you sued a lot. But at the end of the day, it's like. The lawsuits aren't gonna end. I don't know. A lot of, like, YouTubers, like, basically. Some YouTubers, like. They will make like announcement videos like uh, if you see like my ch um, viewer account goes down or if you see like um like I know some like big YouTubers will just straight up delete the videos or make them like private. If they don't want to lose their view counts they just don't want to give some random strangers money from their hard on video. To the point where it's like that's like just a common practice for them. Because I remember I was watching, like, a really good tech YouTuber, um, Paul Hardware, who basically talked about, like, how videos that once they become over four months old, he's almost ready for it to be claimed by someone just looking to make, like, you know, some revenue from it, even though the video doesn't get that much views anymore. And it'd be like, you know, completely bogus companies just making claims because it's so broken. 
and like basically they'll just go and claim some old ass video in the hopes that like the actual creator won't fight it because it's like very hard to fight a claim and most of the time YouTube doesn't want to hear it so sadly that is a quite common practice of just you know claiming someone's old video just so you make some trickle down economy like trickle down money right there you know, you don't claim anything that was just dropped because they might actually fight it. You claim something old and hope that they don't give a crap about it. And then some scumbag business will make that their business model. Which is... Oh, shit. That's not what I want to do. Almost made, like, a shit ton of, like, spruce doors. That would have been bad. That would have been real bad. It's not that hard to fight the claims so long as you know what rights you have before making the videos. Yeah, but it still takes effort. And if you're like, you know, if you're one of those person who always uploads every day, do you really have time to fight every claim that you get on every video? Especially for those channels that does two to like, you know, one to two videos every damn day. Like, if your videos are more specialized, like, you're putting in lots of, lots of hard work into it, and you're only, like, one of those channels that does it, like, once a day or, you know, five days out of a week, you're gonna fight those claims. But if you're one of the bigger channels who just constantly has to produce videos after videos, or you have multiple channels, what's the chances of you finding the claims for every last one of them? Like, those YouTubers who have, like, seven different fucking channels for this, that, and the third, and they somehow upload to every last one of them every day. It's like, how the fuck do you do that? True. I started giving up on them after a while, but I only get legitimate ones nowadays. Yeah. Like, I still want to know how some people manage those multiple accounts. Like, I have one that, like, I care for it, but even then I can't be really fucking bothered about it. Yeah, I suppose I got, like, agencies for that. But it's like, the fact that you need, like, m people just to stop people from doing shit like that. Like, you know, someone makes a business of, like, just claiming videos. And then someone makes a business about, like, you know, fighting claims. And it's like, welcome to America, bitch. That's perfectly okay. Well, it's not just America, you know. There's been scumbags all over the world. Like the person who claimed SCP in Russia. And then blocked all SCP content. And I believe the person who claimed SCP in Russia doesn't even post anything for SCP. I forget what the website actually is for. But I know in like in Russia, the SCP website is like, it's like some type of business website. I know that. Uh, where's the sun? Okay, good. I got plenty of sunlight. You know, can you imagine? Because, you know, for some of these YouTubers and, like, Twitch streamers, you know someone has, like, their channel name in some foreign country, but at least, like, some shitty-ass, I don't know, Dollar Tree store or just, like, an advertisement website where you see nothing but ads. Hmm? Did SCP manage to get their copyright back? Well, technically it wasn't even copyright. It was the pass it along method, right? Or did they just give up? Really, fuckers? Because how much you want to bet if you look up, like, you know, some type of famous um, Twitch streamer, Creative Commons, they couldn't copyright anything from it. And so that's how they managed to get away. Alright. Alright, 
Is this enough wood here? I need my fucking logs, dang it. Alright, I think I have enough wood to slab up that second floor. Let's go. I mean, I feel like I actually have a house coming together here, which is gonna be sad when I inevitably die because of something stupid and I just have to delete this world again. It's heartbreaking. As I said, if I die again, I'm not doing another hardcore world. I'm literally gonna do probably modded Minecraft or just, you know, straight up a regular, like, world, but it's locked to hard difficulty, but I can actually live. Softcore. Get out of there with softcore, damn it. Ain't no softcore. It's just a case of, like, you know, I don't want to just keep resetting. Because, you know, dying in Minecraft resets progress. Dying in hardcore just resets, like, you know, your life goals. And that shit gets annoying after a while, okay? They should just rename normal as softcore, nah. Okay. Survival is just fine, yo. Survival is just fine. Nah. Besides, they couldn't even do, like, softcore as they wanted to. It sounded way too much like something else. Oh my gosh. How have I done this? Not once, but twice. Why am I so bad at game? Why am I crouching? I'm not even walking on the edge. And do I have any more? No. Great. Genius. Why is hardcore except in public but not softcore? Because softcore is what happens when you're watching like Showtime and HBO late at night and you forget to go to bed. That's what softcore is. Facts. Oh, that I said that to somebody who didn't have TV. Remember when HBO used to be like a public channel that anyone would have if they had like cable or satellite TV? Spine and crack the back. You hate to hear it, but you have to do it. Also, remember to power up the power aid, bitch. Alright. So now, I have something that looks like a second floor here. And more than likely, it's gonna get me shot by bloody skeletons. Uh, you see. Oh shit. What would have been wiser is having the stairs here. Yep, uh, fucked up. Fucked up these stairs. These stairs are fucked. Absolutely fucked them up. You know, P fuel sounds like something else entirely. You know, that sounds like something I would have if I'm trying to, like, if my main competitor was, like, Viagra. Fuck Viagra. That shit's for weak men. Try pee fuel today. It'll really get your pee pee going. Big pee pee energy, bitch. You know, that's what pee fuel sounds like. What, pee fuel? I mean, you can trademark anything. But the reason is, why would you trademark something, you know? Because you do have to spend money to trademark, just so you know. Then Engorge. I don't know. Have you seen, like, Engorge commercials? Like, can you really compete with Engorge? 
Okay. Like, I hate to break it to you. I really do. But I think, you know, there's no real competing with Engorge. They seem to have the market down packed. Absolutely unlocked. Alright, so we now have the start of the second floor. So I think what I'm going to do is go ahead, get the bed upstairs, get an area for crafting, I mean enchanting upstairs, and then call it quits. We do this for the stream here, so this is the last final 10 minutes. So if anybody's active in chat right now, if you have somebody we like to um, like to raid, go ahead and put the correct spelling of their name in chat right now, so we know who we're raiding. Because right now, I can either raid Bernie, because I think Bernie is still alive right now. Oh sweet, my package finally shipped. Or, um, I know Alan's going to be streaming a little bit later because he's doing movie night, but I don't know what he's doing for movie night. And last time I thought it was going to be like, you know, the original scary movie and it turned out it was just a scary movie, which was kind of misleading title there. And I'm just checking to see if Bernie's actually still live here. Actually, what the hell am I doing? I didn't even pause my game. Whoops. That could have been death. Okay, so Bernie is still alive. You know, I'll keep going to post nine to see what Alan is um, streaming for movie night. If it's something good, we'll raid Alan. If it's not that good, we'll raid Bernie. All right. Sounds good. Sound like a plan, people? Yeah, that sounds like a plan to me. But what I am gonna need is. You know, I'm going to move this to over here. I'm going to make this location right here. I mean, not technically a mine entrance, but, you know, where's wood? There's wood. Let's put that in there. And let me make some ladders. Alright. Yeah, I know. I'm so lazy. I can't even drag a couple things across the screen. Like, get off my back, okay? And let's go ahead. Grab one of these. Just put that there. That's my travel with various soils right here. Alright. It's a cox Asian, not like a real one. I finally got an Asian. Oh, so Cox is finally calling you back about the uh, bad internet that has been plaguing in your neighborhood. I'm telling you, they're gonna give you some extreme level of BS, so get ready. They're gonna mention how they're trying everything that they can and that you really matter to them and that they understand it's a difficult situation and they're truly trying their best. I'm, it's just going to be a load of bullshit. Because one thing those, lip, those reps are taught to give you is a whole lot of lip service without anything to back it up. But hopefully they actually fix this shit. She's searching for my account right now. I love how they call you. 
and is like, hold on, we need to find your account, even though we're calling you. going in there. Why is there so much light? Oh god. Not like this. Okay. Yeah, but you have to make new accounts for every address. Oh, well, yeah, that's true. Your account is linked to your address. That's why you can only have one account at an address. But normally, if you're doing a call out, you normally pull out the account first and just ask them to verify, like, the address. Or, I mean, not, like, you know, ask them to verify their name and address, and that's it. You don't normally call them first and then search for their account. lady I talked on the phone months ago was like, I have like five different accounts at this time. Five different accounts for what? Close out the damn accounts. Oh, well that's your phone. That's not the address. I don't know, I'm just calling some unprofessionalism right there. at an ISP. If I ever had to call a customer out, because I did have to use to call customers out when they kept getting people who kept fucking up left, right, and centers, I normally had that shit on lockdown first before I even talked to the customers. And it's just a matter of confirming and then getting straight into business. Okay. So the last thing you want to do is to, um, keep somebody waiting after they already piss. Yeah, I was like, that sounds dumb that you can't update the address. Yeah, but, you know, it's Cox we're talking about. They will definitely do stupid shits like that. They will definitely do stupid shit like that and call it a day. Alright. Actually, I just realized this is going to have to be pretty big because I want this to be a farm underneath the house. Is there a piece of wood there? Oh, I know why that's there. That is the, um... Huh? Oh. Alright, now I can't really end because I want to know how this call is going. Like, are they gonna fix my boy Cyber shit or not? Because I ain't got no pleasant experience with them. To me, like, every time I've ever dealt with Cox, they always seem, like, really unprofessional for someone that's apparently been in the business for years. She didn't know what I was talking about. Because I got an email that... Like, if you have multiple accounts, you can have them linked. So that way, if your number, like, your number can pull up every account that you have with a company. At least that's how it worked when I worked in ISP. And we had a team that would do that for you. So that way, you know, we keep track of how long you've been with the company for loyalty reasons. So if you ever get, like, some loyalty discounts. Also for like retention, you know, retention will give you a better deal if you're like someone who's been with the company for like 40 plus years versus someone who's been with the company for a year. So this sounds like just major unprofessionalism, but then again, this is Cox.
I would not expect anything less from them. I don't want that there, and I don't want this there, because I think I'll put pull up. Alright, well, Alan is streaming. Hold up. But what is he streaming? Because Alan forgot to update his movie title. Um, oh, he's doing Spared It Away. Okay, that's type suit. Yeah, they, they didn't mm. have that. They had just launched the merging account thing, basically, and now I can't even find the way I did. <laughs> wow. I mean, while you have that discussion, my guys, what are you up for? We got Bernie Gav, who's doing like High Pixel Minecraft, or we have Alan Finty, who's doing Movie Night, and he's doing Spirited Away from Studio Ghibli. Which I don't know about you, but damn it, Studio Ghibli is my childhood. Back when days were simpler. She's doing some troubleshooting, so I might lose connection. Oh, fuck. Oh, right, yeah, they have to always troubleshoot before they go any further. Yeah, you're definitely gonna lose your connection, because troubleshooting is just reactivating everything. Like, fun fact. The way to avoid that is just before you get a call from them, you just reboot all your shit. Yeah, I know. See so you when you get back. But fun fact for anybody else who's listening or watching the recording. If you ever call your ISP about continuous issues and you want to avoid the troubleshooting step, just go ahead and reboot your equipment. They'll see the equipment has been recently rebooted and they'll avoid that. Because the policy is, is less, unless the equipment has been on for over a, a hour, I believe, you don't bother with resetting the equipment. And, you know, there's your lifelong lessons about how to avoid that situation of just, like, don't think I already did this. You gotta do it one hour before the call. Cyber's gonna drop connection when they reboot his stuff. Alright. So, down here. Yeah, I gotta change out this back wall here. Not liking the looks of the back wall. And I'm running out of diary as well. Oh! Well then. Found some diorite. Put that there. Let me make a shovel real quick. Actually, go to sleep so nothing spawns and take out my village. Actually, I do have a shit ton of gravel, so I can make cement. ISP hate him. <laughs> really? That one there? Like, I've given out better advice than that. Alright, um, 
do I have any more diorites? Ooh, I do, but not much. Not much, and I need a shovel. And I need a shovel. I'm really going through this iron here. I'm gonna have to go iron mining. Alright, down the rabbit hole we go. This die right though. Sweet die right vein. Oh shit! And now, you know what? Let me get some damn light down here so everybody can see. Oh fuck! Well, that explains where the noise is coming from. There's a fucking cave, like, right there. Okay, reconnected, but she wants me to restart me. What the fuck? Oh, they going in. I mean, yeah, technically that was part of my training course as well. I was supposed to tell people to restart their equipment. But truth be told, I ain't bother with that shit when I worked ISP. Because it's just antagonistic at that point. Alright, see you when you get back. Uh, well, I have this death hole here. I hate when they tell you to do something dumb and unrelated. Yeah, but it is literally part of the training there, because not doing it can, um, reflect poorly upon you. And they'll come after you for it. So it's just like, uh... But then when you do it, then the customer gets pissed and all, it reflects poorly at you because you antagonated the customer. So you really just can't win in that situation. And yes, they do count, like, certain things, like, um, antagonizing the customer can get you in trouble. It depends on whether or not they're doing call reviews or not. I mean, sometimes you do have to do it because you do truly be getting that dumbass. Who just straight like this calls in and wastes your time. But sometimes it's just like you really just have to talk to the customer. You give them like a few choice words, you see what they understood, what they didn't understood, then you know exactly how to handle the customer situation. You know who's gonna get one star. <laughs> Hey, remember, there's customer's ratings and there's company ratings. And a company rating could be a lot different than a customer's rating. Instead, and then just do this. But hey, sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. And you know, with the situation as large, people ain't gonna afford their jobs, they will literally follow their script to the T. And the script says have the customer do like restart all their equipment and have them do 25 tests then that's just what you're going to do if you want to keep that job there. Mm. 
because trust me, companies will rather pretend they understand the customer than letting the person who speaks to the customer day in and day out handle the customer. You know, I probably talk about that stuff way too much. And that's probably turning away some viewers when I do, because I think a lot of people who's coming to a stream would like to avoid that. And me talking about it doesn't help them with that. Hmm. Might need to stop that for future streams. Yeah, note to self, stop doing that for future streams. doing this ground situation here so if I put a water here it'll go four out this way one two three four and then four out this way one two three four and then four out this way okay that actually works so now I need some slabs which what should I use for slabs and eh, probably keep it die right Done, I need a bucket of water. Alright, let me finish the underground these stairs and then we close up shop for the stream. Yoink. there and then put a slab on top of it right there so that way I can come up and down this ladder without issues and now let me go ahead and get a hoe let me go ahead and grab a hoe and that's not a hoe I mean, it could be used as a hoe if you're extremely desperate and you know what you're doing with it. Welcome back. Hopefully, you know, even though I'm pretty sure they're just giving you a shit ton of lit service right now, hopefully something fruitful come out of it. Alright, so that's all going to be hydrated by this one bit of water here. Now, one, two, three, four, right here. Dirt. And then I want to push that wall back by two more blocks. Basically, she's saying what I already knew. There's a connection issue with the whole area. And let me guess. They're working on it. They understand how stressful your situation is. They're trying their best, but it will take some time. Please give them patience and please trust that we're doing everything in our best interest to get um, sort out your situation. How accurate was I with that statement? Are you kidding me? One fucking block? Uh, are you kidding me with that? One block. And I have no more diorite. Just none at all. Damn it.
Give me all the help. What is a die positive? And that would mean two positives. Is he trying to say that's the source of your issue there? That would be a new one, if that's the case. Well, according to the Googles, a die positive is something that resolves an issue or a conflict. Mm -hmm. So there's your big, bird, right, big brain word of the day. Special program that provides 24 assistance on modem and on deposits. So I guess they're saying resolution. Resolutions or issues? Oh, iron. Wow, one fucking block, you fucking tease. Really? Just one block. Just one block of iron. Yep, just one block of iron. So basically, she's trying to sell you something. In order for them to fix your issues. She wants uh, to pay more money. That's all she's saying. Good to know that cocks never change. They never change. You know, it's nothing like, you know, taking an angry customer. It's actually, you know, when I worked at ISP, they told me, like, even if the customer is angry, you try to sell them something. And they do kind of against you if you don't try to sell. Because I have gotten in trouble for that. Not selling a customer something at the end of a call, whether it was angry or not. Should have really counted that. Yeah, well. Count out to right here. Alright. Oh, that's the actual stone. And put that there, that there, that there, and that there. Can't sell anything if they just hang up on you. <laughs> yeah, I was like, uh, didn't you just say in the whole area, not just me, and then they hang up? Nice. Well, okay, burning into his stream here. So, no point raiding the burns. So, I got this to this point here. We're going to go ahead and raid good old fashioned Alan and relive our childhood because Alan is over here streaming the Spirited Away. I'm not sure if you guys had like Cartoon Network as a kid, but I did, and I definitely remember some Spirited Away. And you know, hopefully, the magic of Back in the day, never saw that movie. Well, we're definitely not going to catch the beginning. 
If I wanted to catch the beginning, I would have ended the stream a long time ago. But we can go ahead and catch something of it. But yeah, if you never watched Spirited Away, good movie. It's a movie about how capitalism is ruining Japan. Very good for the children's. And let me go ahead and smelt that one iron. Alright, so let's sort out the inventory. While I am sorting out my inventories, guys, it is time to wind down this stream here as we get ready to raid Alan. So if you're watching the recording and you'd like to see more of this, please be sure to tune in tomorrow at 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or 1900 to 2100 hours for those of you who live in the area with a 12 hour time format where I will be streaming some Titanfall. These Titans are about to drop and I will drop them again. If you'd like to catch up on anything that you missed, you can tune in to my YouTube at youtube.com forward slash the best because you know I am. Or if you're watching live right now, you can use exclamation mark YouTube to get that link. If you um, want to join the Discord, you can use exclamation mark Discord to join the Discord. But as of right now, I'm going to go ahead and end the recording. And we're going to go ahead and raid the good old-fashioned Alan. So for those of you watching the VODs, bye, Internet.